Hello everyone, it's Seabass here with another video. In this video, I catch over a hundred tiny striped bass in a single night. Before we get into the video, if you can smash the like button, it would help me out tremendously. I'm a small YouTuber, so I'll take all the help I can get. So in today's video, I'm with Caleb, and we are mainly targeting striped bass. We attempted to catch carp, but it didn't work out so well. We are fishing at Echo Bay Lake Mead, and we are fishing off a little platform that's in the middle of Echo Bay. To get out here, you have to have kayaks or a boat. Today, we are using kayaks for this. I would like to provide the gear I'll be using today, in case you'd like to try this out for yourself. The tackle I'll be using today is 8 pound monofilament, a quarter ounce weight, and a size 2 J hook. Some additional items that I used are a size 1 aught circle hook and a green light. The bait used today is anchovies, a classic striper bait, especially out here at Lake Mead. So first let me explain this green light. The green light attracts stripers and bait fish because it's visible throughout the lake at night. Also, because it attracts smaller bait fish, the striper becomes more active when they feed on the bait fish. Without this light, we would only be able to catch around 20 fish or less. That's how big the difference is. Now, something I'd like to mention here is that yes, I do keep a lot of these smaller fish, and there's a good reason why. If you didn't know, striped bass have no limit at Lake Mead unless they're over 20 inches, and that can be pretty rare. The reason for this is because striped bass are overpopulated, and they are struggling to find their food source. In fact, every striped bass I opened up tonight had a completely empty stomach. This is also done to keep a healthy population of threadfin shad, which is also food for a lot of other species at Lake Mead. Now, I just wanted to mention this because I know us taking out these fish can look pretty bad, but now you know there's a legitimate reason why we do this, and it actually helps the ecosystem at Lake Mead. When Caleb and I first got out there, we were using circle hooks for the striper, since they work great from shore. We were getting a lot of bites, but we were struggling to hook up on any fish. But then I realized that we were fishing directly below us and 40 to 60 feet. So a circle hook might not be the best option. You see, circle hooks you are not supposed to pull on the rod to set the hook because circle hooks self hook. Which is why it's great from shore, but in my case, the fish are biting directly below us so a J hook would be much better suited. Once I made these changes, we started hooking up on stripers left and right. <laughs> Got another one. <laughs> Little guy. So small I didn't know he Bro, was there. So tiny that these are probably going to be for fish sauce. So now I'd like to show you how I set up my fishing rod. This rod is equipped with 8 pound fluorocarbon. Monofilament should work well too. The first step is to slide your line through the quarter ounce weight and then tie a swivel at the end of the line. From here I'd make a leader with 8 pound fluorocarbon. For me, about a 5 inch leader works best because I'm still able to feel a sluggish bass bite. If the leader is too long, it makes it easy for the striped bass to pick at it and steal your bait. Next, I tie a hook with a knotless knot, and then I tie a loop at the end. After adding a swivel, your rod is ready, so throw on a piece of anchovy and catch some fish. By the time I switched the circle hook to the J hook, Caleb went to sleep. Sucks for him though because he was missing all the action. By the time he went to sleep till the sun came up, I caught around 110 striped bass. All that guy does is sleep. Every time we go fishing, he just sleeps. <laughs> I caught one that's like tiny but still edible like I can actually eat this one so that's we've caught four about this size that we can eat so this right here is about the size fish we've been catching well it's actually a lot smaller but like they've all been too small and I've caught a couple like this or they're a little bigger not too much bigger. 
and you probably, I probably am going through like 20 of these fish before I even catch uh, one that's like edible. So, yeah. Got a biggie. Sizey. 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 Oh, don't want to lose you. That's a filet, baby. That's a filet. It's tiny, but it's a filet. And it's a catfish. Now, I'm sure we have all heard about how much the water levels have dropped this year. It sucks and it makes a lot of people question the future of the lake, but it also causes some cool things to be revealed. When the morning came, it was time to head home, but we noticed a boat that was revealed not too far from us. We decided we'd go check it out. Alright, so it's daytime. I finished cleaning all the stripers. And we pulled up at this beach because there's this sunken boat that's revealed due to the water levels falling so much. And man, me and Caleb, we want to check this out. It's kind of cool. Dude, this looks crazy. The engine is like half the size of this boat. Then you got... I don't even think it had a passenger seat. Wait, no, wait, that's a passenger seat. It doesn't have a driver's seat. That, that probably just floated up, rusted out, took it out, whatever. You got the steering wheel. That's kind of cool. Oh, look at that. So, RPMs. You know, I don't think that's an accurate way to tell how fast this boat went. Probably as close to up there, though. Someone left a butter knife. Dude, if anybody knows, because I know some people from Vegas watch my videos, if anybody knows where this came from, how old it is, or anything about this, just please let me know. This stuff kind of fascinates me. In all, we ended up catching around 120 fish total. I let around 30 of them go, and about another 30 of them were pretty decent sized. Well, this is about all I got for this video. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it. I hope you learned something from here. And if you have any constructive criticism or any ideas, something I should do for a video, just leave it below in the comments. Thank you everyone. Have a wonderful day.